I'm Anil Kumar and in this series we are going to have a few examples where the concept of combinations will be applied to geometry. So we'll talk about points, planes, regions and lines. The question here is how many lines can be drawn joining 10 points with following conditions. The first one here is no three of them are in a straight line and second condition is so these are two separate questions only four of them are in a straight line so in the first case let us consider that we have 10 points let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and none of three of them uh, let's not take this point here let's take a point here okay so <clears throat> so we have 10 points now whenever you join a point you a point with another point you get a segment right so let's say if I join these two points we get one line segment the other two points we get another line segment or you can say a line the question is how many lines can be drawn joining 10 points with following conditions so let's do the first one no three of them are in a straight line so they're scattered but they are not in a they're not collinear right you could use the term collinear so no three of them are in a straight line so no three of them are collinear how many lines can be drawn with this kind of condition as you observe to draw a line we need two points and we have 10 points taking two together we can say total number of combinations are 10 C2 does it make sense so combination principles help us to do this kind of counting very easily right so you can always calculate this using the formula which is 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 10 minus 2 factorial correct which is 10 times 9 divided by 2 times 1 correct so 5 times 9 uh, which is 45 so there are 45 combinations of straight lines which can be formed that's the maximum which can be formed using 10 points where three of them are not collinear perfect now part B we have given a twist to this it says only four of them are in a straight line so, so we say well these are six points one two three four five and six uh, but four of them are in a straight line like this kind of thing right so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and one more ten okay I wanted to make four in a straight line let's say this point is not here but somewhere somewhere there so imagine that only these four are in a straight line uh, no three uh, this is not a straight line think like that this is not a straight line think like that okay now so the question for you is how many lines can be drawn joining 10 points with following condition only four of them are in a straight line so six are not in a straight line no combination however four are in a straight line in part one we found that if there are 10 points then maximum number of straight lines which you can make is 10 C2 or 45 now how many lines can you make with four points so the question is think like this how many lines with four points think like this so if there are four points you have to make lines we need two in each it will be 4c2 correct so 4c2 means 4 factorial over 2 factorial times 4 minus 2 factorial or you can write this as 4 times 3 over 2 times 1 which is 6 so there are six lines which can be formed by four points perfect however 
if all are collinear, right? Then how many lines? Then how many lines, right? So, so, so the fact is that four collinear, right? So, four collinear line points will give only one line correct so this gives only one line they do not give six lines so in our counting of 45 we have six lines whereas we could have only one do you understand the condition now so we could answer like this 45 is the total number of lines out of which we cannot have these six since they are in a straight line but we can have one so add one to it you get an idea so those are the number of lines which we can have with four collinear points correct so 46 minus 6 is 40 so that is the answer so in this case the answer is 40 lines I hope the concept is clear to you so remember you can form a line using two points so the combination of lines which can be formed with 10 points in that matter n points will be n c2 right if i replace this and if i have few collinear points then that number has to be subtracted and then you add one for a line which can be formed by collinear points to get your answer I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the concept of finding the number of lines with given points and they could be collinear or not but now I hope you are in a position to get the answer for any question in this regard. I'm Anil Kumar feel free to share and subscribe to my videos and if you like do like them. Thank you and all the best.